Okay, I'm heading out for ladies night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. How would you find out the name of the actual actress who plays the AT&T chick? I left a list of hot commercial girls on the refrigerator. What is this refrigerator you keep mentioning? Are you talking about the sandwich house? I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. I mean, look at Mrs. Butterworth. Oh, it's so nice getting out of the house. If I had to change one more diaper, I was going to lose it. I'm in exactly the same boat. I mean, what would her husbands do if they had to change their own diapers? Different boat, Bonnie. Much different boat. I got an idea. Let's crank call them. Me first. <laughs> You're weak, Cleveland. You're worthless and weak. You found Brown. Hello, Cleveland. This is Michelle Obama. It is? Yes. I received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. Oh, I've been doing all your arm exercises. Thank you, but those won't work on your fat arms. How do you know my arms are fat? I deliberately left them out of all the photos. You're eating a pie on the toilet, aren't you, Cleveland? Who is this? Is this a jerky boy? It's your wife, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my turn, my turn. Hello, don't say anything about the 1998 Oscars. I'm watching it now. Hello, is this Peter Griffin? If this is the fracking people, I have made it clear that I am 100% on board. No, my name is Rebecca. You've never met me before and probably don't even know I exist, but you're my father. Hello? How'd you get this number? Don't you ever call here again. What the hell? He just got mad and hung up. He what? Why? I don't know. He sounded weird. Like when he was an NFL announcer and had to pretend he cared about the shows after the game. Hey, Peter. So, um, anything interesting happen tonight? Yep, I finally peed that chunk of poo off the side of the bowl. You know the one you've been yelling at me about? Nobody called or anything? I don't know. All right, well, just in case, I'll be upstairs getting into my boxes and black socks. Do you think it's possible he actually has an illegitimate child? I don't know, but something's going on because I'm telling you, he lied right to my face. Sometimes friends put wine out for each other. I just don't understand it. I mean, we don't keep secrets in this house. We didn't even keep the pop secret secret. <laughs> What are you doing here? Lois, uh, uh, I was, I'm just, uh, shopping. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a large sperm, please. Nice going. Now you've ruined Christmas. Peter Griffin, you tell me what's going on right now. A long while back, just before we got married, I was a little short of cash. What, to buy our rings? No, I wanted to pay for dial-up modem impression classes. See? That's pretty good. I. You've got mail. Okay, but hang on. You were a sperm donor? Yeah, I, I'd almost forgotten about it, but then last night I get this call from a woman who says she's my daughter. Peter, that was me. I was prank calling you. You what? I can't believe you would do that to me. Can you guys argue elsewhere? You're making it tough to finish in here. No, fight louder. Call her a bitch. <laughs> Hi, is, uh, is Peter Griffin here? Oh, my God. Is everything okay? Yes, it's just... You look just like... What's going on? Who's this supermodel? I'm Katie. I'm your daughter. Your what? Holy crap! Yeah, I hope you don't mind the drop-in, but the, uh, the sperm bank said it was okay to contact you. We came from your semen. Semen. <laughs> semen. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong house. Look, Eddie's at the wrong house. <laughs> Peter, how many times were you a sperm donor? Well, only once, but I had just seen Uma Thurman in Beautiful Girls, so it was kind of a kablamo. You ever seen those videos where they put Mentos in Diet Coke? Uh, listen, I want all of you to know how happy we are to meet you. In fact, this calls for a celebration. Can you all stay for dinner? Aw, oh, we'd love that. Wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, absolutely. You said it, babe. Yeah, Chinese Peter, very hungry. <gasps> Daddy!
I've never felt proud of any of my children until now. Lois, Lois, can I keep the little person, Peter? No, they're too much work. But I'll take care of it, I promise. You always say that, and I'm the one who ends up feeding them and walking them and doing all the cleanup. Excuse me, I'm a candidate for a doctorate in classics at Wesleyan. It talks! Lois, it talks! Ah. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. You almost dipped one of your yabos in the marinara. Let me help you with those. Why, thank you. That's so sweet. You're the first person who looks anything like my husband who's offered to help in any way. Oh, you must be Peter's wife, Lois. I'm Larry. It's nice to meet you, Larry. A weird hands full pinky shake. I gotta tell you, it's so strange. You look so much like Peter when I first met him. Well, I'm guessing you look exactly the same, too. You're in such great shape. Wow, I do have tiny blue weights in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Larry. Hi, Lois. Is Peter here? Larry, it's only two in the afternoon. Peter's still sleeping off last night's party. Then why... why are you still in your pajamas and bathrobe? Oh, that's because I'm depressed. Is that why that sad Shell Silverstein blob is following you around? Who would ever f me? Thank you again for lunch, Larry. Sorry I drew so many Nazi symbols on the placemat. I was just nervous. That's okay. I just wish we hadn't gone to a kosher restaurant. Ah, but look at me. I got ice cream all over my fingers. Do you have a napkin? No, but let me help you clean it off. That big one doesn't blink a lot, does he? Hey, Lois, where's your purse? Me and some of my kids are going to the movies. By the way, Dwarf Peter died. I didn't know what he ate, so I gave him nothing. He had a name. Everything you say, you say with pride. I like that about you. Anyway, where's Larry? Maybe he wants to go to the movie. Larry? Why would I know where Larry is? It. Who is Larry? Well, never mind. All right, everybody bring your phone so we can text each other during the movie. It's me, and... I kind of let him. I told him it could never happen again, and that... <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, I, th I thought that was kind of like, I'm open for business. No, I'm confiding in a friend. Oh, you're the safe friend. Look, I feel awful about it, but I told Larry that was it, and we couldn't be anything more than friends. Yes, of course. He's a nice young man, and he's practically family. Lois! No! Zoloft Blob, don't! <laughs> All right, there. Okay, but let's keep this friendly. You can choke me for just a second. Yeah, your bra strap is getting in the way here. I'll just bite it off with my teeth. Lois, is a president stronger than a king? What the hell? Oh, Peter, look, calm down. We're just friends. He's just giving me a friendly massage. A friendly massage? Yeah, and what do you care? When's the last time you did anything nice for me? I ate that gross pasta you made. I might as well just tell you, Peter. I'm in love with Lois. I knew it the moment we kissed. Kissed? Is that true? Yes, Peter, but I... You son of a bitch! I was holding my own there. You were getting beat up. No, no, I meant I was holding my own nuts so he wouldn't kick him. But if he's not your boyfriend, why'd you kiss him? And I should have told you. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Peter. I, I guess Larry just reminded me of a younger version of you. And the truth is, I liked that he was paying me a little attention. The way you used to. Maybe I have been taking you for granted. But I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll be the best husband ever. You already are. For God's sakes, when push came to shove, you stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with a much younger man and fought for me. No, Peter, I don't need any of that. At our age, all I'm really looking for in a husband is someone who wants to watch TV with me on a Saturday night and isn't afraid to pop a zit on my back. I love doing that. It's like bubble wrap you get to have sex with every now and then. I got a pretty good one going right now, Peter. You always do, Lois. I love you. From that day forward, 
Peter and Lois never again. Oh, nope, sorry. There's still another scene left. Well, Peter, turns out your initial instinct was right. You never should have let any of your children contact you. You said it. From now on, I'm making sure my sperm stays right where it belongs. <laughs>